Ollie, you've just put pen to paper on a two-year scholarship at the club. You must be over the moon. Yeah, I'm very happy. I've uh, supported this club for a um, long time now, um, and I've supported. I've played for the club for, since I was six, and I'm delighted to have signed my scholarship with them. And for most of the part of last season, you were with the under-18, so you've shown phenomenal progress already. Yeah, I've already got a little bit of experience in the. Uh, the under 18 league and I know how difficult it was last year to try and get results so hopefully this year we'll uh, succeed a little bit more. As you mentioned it's your boyhood club so I suppose even if any other club came in for you the only decision was to make was to come here really? Yeah I was um, as soon as, as soon as I was offered the thing uh, to the, the contract I was I was adamant I wanted to sign it and this was the club for me, Stoke City. I suppose the hard work only starts now really for you, you know, you've got two years ahead of you. Yeah, this is it now. Uh, from now yeah, from the time, since I'm signed it I'm gonna keep working hard and who knows what can what what can happen. The season starts it's about to get underway, have you set any targets for the the whole season coming? Um yeah, I just want to keep succeeding and be consistent in the under eighteen side and oh. If I prepare well in pre-season, it'll uh, set me off for the full season. I suppose you've seen with players like Charlie Ward and Daniel Batman, there is a pathway to the first team if you do keep working hard. That's it. If, the, if, you, if you're good enough, I think, if you keep working hard like um, Charlie and Dan, the, they're getting rewarded with um, being on the bench. and it is, you just got to keep working hard. I suppose the ultimate aim is to play for the first team as a, as a local lad. Yeah, that, that is the main and that's, that's what everybody at the club strives for. And, Especially for me, I, I, it's a boy I dream to play for Stoke City and if I keep working hard, who knows what can happen.